it is cold this morning. Why am I so excited about that? One reason, chill hours. Why are chill hours so important for fruit trees? You're probably asking that, and I'm gonna tell you why. What is a chill hour? A chill hour is something that a deciduous fruit tree needs to produce growth inhibitor hormones within itself so that it does not get damaged by freezing temperatures. A chill hour most commonly is defined as any hour a fruit tree spends in a temperature of 45 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Are you just joining us for the first time on our channel? Awesome. Now I want you to go down below, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you know when we have new videos coming out and join us here permanently. There's a bunch of different models for calculating chill hours like the Utah method or the dynamic method, but below 45 is really the easiest to understand. The tree is going to produce those hormones that inhibit the growth in the wintertime the best between 32 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Anything below that and it won't really produce those hormones very well. Why is it so important to have these chill hours for your fruit trees? Well, if they don't have the proper number of chill hours per their variety and they don't make those growth inhibitor hormones, they are going to break dormancy at uh, incorrect times and it is going to lead to improper foliage and bloom development. It's also going to lead to poor fruit development and ultimately terrible tasting fruit. So these chill hours are a big determining factor in the flowering time of these uh, fruiting species of deciduous trees or your fruit trees. The dormancy that the tree enters is incredibly important, especially for this first year growth that was put on during the summer. This will freeze and be damaged if dormancy is not properly put on by those chill hours between 45 and 32 that happen in the fall every year. And of course, damage can lead to disease on trees. So you wanna avoid any damage at all on your trees. Now here's something really crazy. If your temperature hits above 60 in the winter time, or when your tree is supposed to be getting its proper number of chill hours, any temperature above 60 degrees Fahrenheit will negate any chill hours that are accumulated by your tree. And you'll need more during that winter to accumulate the proper number of those chill hours for each variety of tree. That is terrible here in Texas because our temperatures fluctuate so much in, the, in this zone, which is zone 8B. If you live in an area with really mild winters like we do, that really can greatly diminish your future fruit harvests. A lot of warm cold shifts in your winter time can greatly harm your trees. And last but not least, it is really important in the winter time when your trees are dormant to do your pruning. This is the best time to do your pruning. Now I did do a video on the fact that you can prune in the summertime and obviously in the fall, but winter pruning is the absolute best for your trees. And today we're out here and we're going to be doing some pruning as well. Now we've done a pruning video before, but just as a quick reminder, we're going to go over the pruning basics for your fruit trees and that are the three D's and the CAC. Don't forget those. When I say CAC, that stands for clustering, acute, and crossing branches. So you can see on our Dorset Golden Apple that we've got two branches that are crossing here. This is new growth from last year, and that is a point where some damage can occur from the rubbing and disease can enter into that uh, point of damage. So we're gonna get rid of one of these. Of course, remove any suckers that are growing up from the bottom of the tree. That can really be done at any time, but since there were some here, we're gonna remove them. Of course, you want to keep a vase shape to a tree. That's one way of doing it, and that's how we do it. And we've got some growth that's coming back into the center here, and it's also crossing. So this one has got to go. Now you can see a lot of growth in the center of our Moore Park apricot here. You want to get rid of all that and clean out the center to get light and air into the center of the tree. That's just the way these um, apricots tend to grow. But I don't want you to forget those three Ds. That's dead diseased and damaged wood. You want to always remove those from your trees. And don't forget, between each species of tree, 
clean off your pruning equipment with some alcohol. Hey girls, you want to help me cut and prune the trees? Yeah. All right, let's go. Yeah. What do you What do you got? Onion grass and uh, some collard green. And collard green, yummy. All right, let's go. It's great having these girls outside to help. They usually jump at the chance to do anything, even though they don't know how to do it, like pruning fruit trees. Hi, Grandma. That's not Grandma. That's YouTube people. Like I said, I'm so thankful for this cold weather because it gives me the opportunity to do these things. It was 75 degrees the other day here in Texas and that is just not good for these fruit trees. I don't know how they're going to fruit this year. I'll show you in a second what I was talking about before and that's one of our peaches has already started to flower. It is so confused. It broke its dormancy and I don't know if it's going to do very well this year. <laughs> <laughs> kitty, kitty. Yeah. Ooh, what do you see? So you can see with our peach tree here, we've already got some uh, blooms. It's already blooming out on this wood, from this growth from last year. That's actually not good because it was 31 last night and it broke its dormancy. These were here actually last week. And you know what? They don't look frozen. They don't look damaged. So I don't know, maybe they'll survive. I don't know what the temperature is supposed to be like in the near future. Uh, I think it's supposed to be warmer but these poor trees are so confused. Of course, the little one's trying to follow the big one up the cherry tree. This tree worries me the most this winter that it won't produce absolutely anything this summer because it never even dropped its leaves. This is a pink lady apple and yeah, I don't have high hopes for it at all. Pink ladies have a low chill hour rating, but I guess we didn't achieve it up here because unbelievably the leaves have been here all winter long. As always, I hope this video was helpful for you in understanding how important chill hours are for your fruit trees and for your homesteading orchard. So get out in your orchard right now and do your pruning because that's really important and pray that you've got enough chill hours to set fruit this year. I don't know if we're going to have that, but hey, there's always a chance. Now I've got to go finish the rest of the pruning in our orchard here. As always, thank you. We're glad you're here. Don't forget to check out our other videos on gardening and pruning right here. They'll help you out a lot. <laughs>